Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Uh, so this video is the second part of creating a trod application in AWS using CDK. Um, so if you haven't watched this previous one, please uh, go and have a look at that. Um, and in this video, we are going to continue building upon what we built in the previous video. And yes, yeah, so essentially we are creating a, uh, yeah, a persistent uh, part of our application using DynamoDB and a Lambda function to implement our business logic and an API gateway uh, as kind of as entrance to our, to our backend. So, yeah, uh, great. So I'm going to, in this video, I'm going to, uh, to make the, a create functionality so you can post something into the API. Uh, but I don't think that it would make sense to like that they implement everything in the in the videos. So I think I would just uh, add this add the code to my GitHub and I would uh, probably um, add it to the uh, description so you can have a look or download it. So I'm just I'm going to uh, add this create yes as a placeholder uh, for my post um, method. And here I'm, uh, I'm going to add um, the, essentially the uh, infrastructure, more or less part of it, part of that creates Lambda, I'm going to call it. And it's going to also, of course, it's a Lambda function and it's going to create, create item. And it's also, of course, under source, fo source folder, I'm going to use the create.handler for my handler and uh, yeah, no JS and everything that is fine so um, also I need to as per our other uh, lambda function we need to add uh, the IAM role to enable the communication between our lambda function and our uh, DynamoDB. Uh, so using this method, uh, this this way, the way that I'm currently doing, using the DynamoDB itself and giving this uh, sort of grant method, um, it's going to ensure that I have the least privilege principle uh, built into my application. So I'm uh, also going to add the create lambda here. Great. And and the next part is creating the API. So I'm going to here, I'm going to add the API. Uh, I'm going to add uh, a resource under uh, the, this root API that I created for my get method. Uh, const, um, or sorry, const create uh, API root API dot add method. I'm oh, sorry, not add method, but add uh, resource. Um, just add the method here, just call it uh, create, and then I'm going to add this um, uh, also the API integration create API integration, um, and uh, that, that would be a new API gateway integration and the integration and the create method that I just create and uh, that I just created above. And I also add the method um, called create API dot add method. And I'm uh, going to add post as per uh, rest specifications. I'm going to add post method and add my create API integration. Great. So I'm not sure if we need to build uh, I'm not sure if you need to build uh, the uh, um, uh, the course stuff for our API um, but I'm going to build this and I'm going to deploy it. If it didn't work I'm just going to add the, uh, the course. Otherwise it's so now for my create, uh, create function, uh, I'm just going to copy firstly uh, what I had for my um, uh, get function. Uh, then I also need to add 
uh, this primary key because we are going to essentially how you're going to uh, pursue data into uh, DynamoDB is that every time that you're posting something you have to give it a unique ID and it's not just like a SQL, SQL server that you just give it the uh, a kind of an identity row that is gonna kind of add being added to itself um, so you have to just find a way to make this ID unique so I'm just going to show you how in a second. Um, so now, primary key, um, and I also, it's like this. Yes, great. So also the, uh, in, in the event, it's uh, in the, uh, from, from the handler, I'm going to need the event itself. Uh, so that I can extract the JSON body from it. So I just say any and like this, um, and then um, I'm going to say uh, I'm going to create an item based on it, based on the body of the event that is coming. Um, so I just say um, item equals type type of um, event body if it's object then event dot body otherwise JSON uh parse to JSON and uh, save it into my um, item. Great, um, so that is one thing, um, so for, uh, in order to create that uh, unique ID that I just told you, um, uh, in order to create that ID, uh, I just told you, I just do this uh, following, I just say uh, ID, uh, I'm using, going to use the string uh, method from char code. 65 plus math uh, math dot four. Uh, I'm just going to create a random math dot random plus r twenty six. So this is essentially, uh, I, I also Googled it, uh, to be honest with you. Um, so this essentially uh, just creates a, uh, uh, a unique ID for me. Um, and I'm just going to use this for my primary key, my item. So I'm just going to append this ID to my primary key um, and the rest will be the same. So. Uh, now I also add item to this params and then here instead of db scan um, I'm just going to say db put db put um, and then params and then promise um, so that would be it so essentially but we don't do it like this just say do this and then just return success great so now I just added this one and then So also please don't forget to add your uh, account ID here and I'll comment this part. And, and so I just, uh, right now I'm just going to run uh, uh, an NPM build uh, for my application just to compile. 
uh, and this TL, uh, uh, TypeScript files uh, just to be compiled. And then just I'm going to do, uh, uh, after that I'm going to my, do my SDK deploy. Um, it takes a bit of time. Okay, great, SDK deploy. And let's see how uh, it might take a bit of time and just I think I'm going to fast forward here so that also you don't see my account ID and stuff. So so as you can see here, um, this is the, the method, um, uh, the method uh, that they chosen for this endpoint is post. Uh, and these are the resources, the resources that I created for my um, uh, yeah, uh, for this demonstration that I've just shown you, um, and this is uh, uh, also like you know when I pass in some kind of JSON, as long as it is in valid form, uh, I'm just going to get a success. Now I'll test it real quick. As you can see, it's successful. So now, but I but just say I've just uh, done it like this. It should throw an error actually. As you can see, yeah, it says. Um, internal server error. Um, so um, yeah, that's it for this demonstration. I thank you for watching. Um, uh, there are more videos upcoming. Thank you.